Universal Greetings Hi! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it is for you in your geographical location, you're welcome to the sure word for today's audio daily devotion. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. Rise, shine, and glow. It is time to wake up and kickstart your day with positive affirmations. As you wake up to face the day, remember you are created to succeed, you are designed to win, you are equipped to overcome, you are anointed to prosper, and blessed to become a blessing. It is a brand new day. Rise, shine and glow. Opportunities are out there waiting for you. Don't forget to go out for your daily exercise if the weather is safe for you to do so. Exercise is right for your health. Stay fit and healthy. You don't have any excuse not to. Drink lots of water during the day. Don't stay too long on your computer. Take time out to stretch. Remember, you are priceless. I am so glad and delighted to serve you, for there is none like you. Subscribe to our channel. If you have yet to subscribe to our channel, please do so and click the bell icon to receive a notification when we post a new video. Thank you for subscribing to The Sure Word for today's YouTube channel. Please remember to share this video with your loved ones, family, friends, colleagues, acquaintances, and social networks. Thank you for sharing. We have included timestamp to this video to help you navigate easily. Words of Encouragement The title for this episode Today's title for the word of encouragement is, You are a limited edition. The best thing about you is that you are a limited edition. You do not have any other copies. Nobody can replace you in life. Maybe you have been relieved in a post or sacked and replaced by someone, they are not your replacement. They are not you, and they cannot be you. You must know your scarcity in life so you are not taken for granted. When you know how valuable you are, you will not subscribe for others to take you for granted. Being a limited edition is not about being perfect. Sometimes, it is difficult to accept that you are a limited edition. There is none like you. That is the truth. You are not a photocopy or a duplicate. You are the original. It is why you need to discover yourself, so you are not a copy of another person. Since there is only one you as a product in heaven and earth, you are a scarce product, and your demand should skyrocket. You are exceptional. No one has the unique traits and characteristics you possess. You are exceptional, and so are your thoughts and what you say. We all go through things in life, we may share similar experiences, but we all learn different lessons from the experiences we share. We all recover from difficulties differently. We all handle ourselves differently in a said situation. That, again, is what makes you unique and authentic. You are authentic, not a photocopy. You are unique, extraordinary, fearfully, and wonderfully made. You are authentic, not a photocopy. There is none like you. It would help if you embraced how special you are. Recognize that how you interact with the world is your way. The way you attack a problem, get over a hurdle, and triumph in the face of adversity are the things that make you a limited edition. You are remarkable.
The eyes of the Lord saw your substance. God created you to be remarkable. He took time to detail who you are. The work of God concerning you is marvelous. You are extraordinary, and there is none like you. You must start embracing your uniqueness, enhance your qualities further and be the person God created you to be. Enough is enough for being sorry for yourself. Your current situation is unrelated to your birthplace, location, family, or parents. God has given you the best gift and attributes found only in one place in the universe. The one place is in you. No one in heaven and earth has your iris or retina. You are a limited edition. There is none like you. Define yourself, that's why it's you. You are unique and special. Everyone has proof from God, and that's your lips and tongue prints. Your unique lip and fingerprint make you exclusive and a limited edition. You have you. The one thing that you have that nobody else has is you. Your voice. Your mind. Your story. Your vision. The only way to find your voice is to use it. Listen in silence because if your heart is full of other things, you cannot hear the voice of God. Your voice matters. You matter. Follow your heart, listen to your inner voice, and stop caring what others think. You must strive to find your voice because the longer you wait to begin, the less likely you will find it all. It is time to find and use your tongue. You are significant. There is nothing ordinary about you. You may think that you are completely insignificant in this world. But someone drinks from the favorite cup you gave them. Someone heard a song from the radio that reminded them of you. Someone read a book that you recommended and plunged headfirst into it. Someone smiled after a hard day's work because they remembered the joke that you told them today. Someone loves themselves a little bit more because you complimented them. Never think that you have no influence whatsoever. Your trace, which you leave behind with every good deed, cannot be erased. The Affirmation The affirmation for this week's sure word for today. I am not afraid. God did not give me the spirit of fear. The sure word for today's title. The title for today's series, for the sure word for today, is The Fear of the Unknown, Part 6 of 7. The Key Bible Verse. Today's Bible verse for the sure word for today's daily devotion is taken from the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, reading verse 7. Unless otherwise stated, we read all Bible quotations from the Holy Bible and the King James Version. Quote. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Unquote. The sure word for today's narration. The only person you can control is yourself. You cannot control the unknown. You alone have the power to choose how you feel, your attitude, your behavior, and your response. In this case, you must learn how to get rid of the control and be okay without it. You'll be fine and over the top if you focus on controlling yourself rather than controlling the unknown. I have lived long to know that we do not have the power to control anything but ourselves. 
they taught you that you need to be in control while growing up but they did not tell you that the only thing you can control is yourself you start losing it when you cannot control other things rather than yourself a husband becomes impatient if he's a control freak and finds out that he could not control his wife anymore men with this attitude are weak they are ignorant and soon if they are not careful their blood pressure will soar and cardiac arrest is not far-fetched as long as you can control yourself you do not need to be afraid of the unknown your mind is your biggest battleground truthfully there is so much about life that you cannot control it makes no sense to waste all your energy on these things and then blatantly neglect everything you can control you can decide how you spend your time right now whom you socialize with and whom you share your life with you can choose to love and appreciate the people in your life for exactly who they are you can choose how you are going to respond to life's surprises unknowns uncertainties and disappointments when they arise and whether you will see them as causes or opportunities for personal growth it is important to know that you cannot control the unknown you must choose to adjust your attitude and let go of all your worries about everything you cannot control which in turn frees you up to take the next best step forward in your life you can always control the way you respond we appreciate and thank you we have reached the end of today's reading of the sure word for today we want to thank and appreciate you for taking the time to read along with us. We appreciate you sharing your most valuable insight. It will be so motivating to hear your kind words. Your feedback will be an encouragement. If you have criticism as well, please do not hesitate to share it with us. It will make us better. We appreciate that you took the time to share your thoughts with us. Thank you. The Sure Word Capsule Announcement We have removed the Sure Word Capsule from the devotion. At the end of this video, you can click the thumbnail on the right side of your screen to access the Sure Word Capsule. We apologize for any inconvenience this change may have caused you. The Sure Word Capsule is the medicine for your deliverance, protection, healing, prosperity, and safety. You take this capsule by constantly confessing the word of God. Don't be discouraged by the changes. Click the thumbnail at the end of this video or see the link in the description. Thank you. Our mission. Our mission is delivering the word of God in spirit and truth. Our key scripture is Luke chapter 4 verses 18 and 19. Quote, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, he hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Unquote. The sure word for today is the abundance of the free favor of the Lord. Luke chapter 4 verse 19 from the Amplified Bible. Quote, to proclaim the accepted and acceptable year of the Lord, the day when salvation and the free favors of God profusely abound. Unquote.
How to support our work. Before you go, if you were ministered to and inspired by this video and want to see more, please subscribe to The Sure Word for today's YouTube channel. You can click the thumbnail on the screen, and if you want to support our work even further, the best way is to share it, speak it, tweet it, like it, and love it. Click the bell icon to get notified anytime we post a new video. Also, we will be glad if you can add your comments. We moderate comments on our platform, so our community is not open to abuse, profanity, and spam. We want our community to be safe and inviting to you. Have a gorgeous day. God bless you.